Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you guys how to get up and running with the new Chaos Destruction in Unreal Engine 4. Chaos is a new physics and destruction simulation in Unreal Engine 4. There are a lot of promising features that it offers and currently it's only in the beta right now so the only way to use it is via source build. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to get it all set up and how to enable it in your project so that you guys can get up and running with the Chaos Destruction. So first up, what you guys are going to need is Visual Studio 2017. If you guys have never done a source build, uh, then you want to make sure you get Visual Studio. Uh, you can either get 2017 uh, Community Edition or you can get 2019. Go ahead and download the installer and run it. Alright, once you have Visual Studio installer running, you install your Community 2017. Then you want to make sure you have the .NET development as well as a game development with C++. In the individual components, make sure you have the 4.62 SDK, and then you should be all good to go. Next up, you want to go to github.com slash epic game slash Unreal Engine. Make sure that you have a GitHub account, and you request access to this uh, repository. Then you're going to select your branch right here. So currently, Chaos only supports uh, engine versions from 4.23, uh, 2.4, and 2.5. If you guys want to mess around with the Chaos Destruction demo, you're going to uh, want to download 4.23. Now, for some reason, I couldn't get it running with 4.25, but basically, you can also use 4.25 with Chaos. Um, I just you won't be able to open this Chaos Destruction demo. Okay, so just select your version. I'm going to be using 4.25. Uh, click right here and click Download to Zip. Okay, so once you have your uh, source build downloaded, you just want to extract the files, and once you have it extracted. You want to go ahead and drag this folder right into your C drive. That way you don't get any issues with uh, having a long path and it will just be right in the root right here. Okay, and once you have it in here, you want to go to the engine source and right here into the e 4 editorcs Edit that with Notepad++. And you're going to want to add these two lines of code right here. B compile chaos equals true and B use chaos equals true. Okay, so this will allow you to make sure that Chaos is downloaded when you generate the project files and when you run the setup.bat. Go ahead and file save that. And then you go back to your engine right here and you can go ahead and run the setup.bat. And so this will start downloading all the dependencies and it will make sure to include all the Chaos files that you need. It will download about 11 gigabytes, so it might take, you know, however fast your internet is. Then once you're done running the setup, run the generate project files bat. Now we'll pull up another CMD and that will generate all your project files. And it should create this UE4.SLN. All right, and once that's all finished, uh, you're basically all set up with that. Uh, you can go ahead and create yourself either a new project or if you wanted to use the chaos demo, go to the learn tab in your Epic Launcher, chaos destruction demo. Go ahead and create the project. Like I said, this will only work with uh, 4.23 unless you guys can try and figure out how to set it up for 4.25. For some reason, I was having errors when I was trying to compile it for 4.25. Or if you want to set it up with another project, uh, this is how you set it up. Launch 4.25, then you go to games, make yourself a new third-person template or whatever uh, game that you have. We're just going to name it cost test so click create all right now that you have this up here what you want to do is make sure that you have a C++ class so you can generate the Visual Studio project files go in your content browser add new C++ class just click none create the class and you're going to obviously want to make sure you have Visual Studio or else this won't work it's basically going to convert the project to have C++ as well so you're going to want to do this for whatever project that you have, if it's solely Blueprint, uh, just to generate the Visual Studio project files. Alright, once it's finished here, it'll open up Visual Studio, but you guys can go ahead and close it. Alright, and then you guys can go ahead and close your project. And then basically you want to go to your Chaos Test uh, Show and Folder, or wherever your Unreal projects are installed on the hard drive. You want to go to that project, and then you want to... Go to your source, 
uh, chaos test editor target cs edit that with notepad plus plus then basically you just want to add right here b compile chaos equals true b use chaos equals true you want to do this for whatever project that you want to enable chaos in so just keep that in mind and then you file save that okay once that's saved you can go back and then you want to right click chaos test switch engine version and you're going to select the source build at your C drive, the one that we just created. Click OK. It's going to generate the Visual Studio project files. All right, once it's finished, you can right click the SLN file and open that with Visual Studio. All right, and then you're going to see here in your Solution Explorer, you're going to have the engine, UE4, and then the Chaos Test, which is your project, loaded up right there. You want to drop down right here. Click Development Editor, Win64, then right click on your Chaos Test or your project and click Build. Okay, so this will build your project uh, with the source build of the engine that has Chaos. And generally this is going to take a while. Uh, this could take like 40 minutes to an hour depending on your CPU. So basically you guys just want to go and take a break, uh, go take a walk outside or something. Because uh, it's just going to take a little bit to, uh, to build the engine. Once it's finished uh, building, basically you right click on the chaos test right here and you click debug and start new instance. And this will basically launch the Unreal Engine editor and it will open up your project. Okay, so I have a different project here that I've already built uh, the source. So, uh, so I'm just gonna open up this one right here to show you guys how to get started with chaos destruction. Okay, so basically you just drag a cube in your scene, scale it up. Okay, and then go into your modes, your fracture mode click a new fracture you can set to the path of where you want to save it and then you can click uniform uh, clustered radio panel slice brick There's different options to choose from I'm just gonna go with the uniform right here and click fracture alright and then you can go ahead and click play you're gonna see it's just gonna break apart you can take different assets and drag them into your scene and fracture them as well and you can also set uh, different settings for your fracture. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can set up in Blueprint to tweak kind of the physics. So it actually creates this cube geometry collection, which is basically a little file in your content browser that's a collection of all of the different fractured pieces of this cube. Uh, you're gonna have all these settings here that you can mess around with, the mass, uh, the clustering, I haven't really played around with this too much, so I'll still have to make a couple uh, follow-up videos. Basically, you can do some very advanced things where you have, you know, a map of which part gets destroyed first. Like, say if there is a pillar under here, um, obviously, if you were to destroy this bottom part of the pillar, this entire thing would collapse. And they showed in their demo if there were multiple pillars, like so. If you destroy uh, this pillar, uh, this entire piece, the middle part will start collapsing and so on. You can make basically a destructible map uh, that links all the different uh, geometry assets and will basically have a uh, system on how it's destroyed. And so yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Uh, just a quick video to show you guys how to get up and running with the new Chaos Destruction. Uh, again, it's still in beta, so you're still gonna encounter a lot of bugs. And But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.